200 miles are ticks. It's not bears. It's not rattlesnakes. And if my mom was here, she'd tell me to turn around. Naked Hiker Day Adventure. Jeez, I just gave myself a boost. Actually, again, I cried in help. Oh, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Make Every day gets better. Makes me full of cheer. October 10th, and I am uh, a little under 12 miles till I get to Daleville. Very excited for my my town day. Town day. Uh, town days are great. Uh, they let you tackle the four R's: rest, relaxation, R and R. Uh, refit and resupply the four R's rest relaxation refit and resupply uh, usually when you go to town you have two options you either stay in a hotel which usually costs a little bit more unless you're unless you're sharing the rooms or you stay in a hostel and there are advantages and disadvantages of both uh, in a hostel it's sort of a one-stop shop. It's usually in the ballpark of $30. Uh, you get in there, they have laundry, they have a shuttle service that will drive you to a, uh, a grocery store. They also have the added advantage of providing a shuttle service, usually getting you back to the trailhead. Whereas if you're in a hotel, you're kind of on your own, right? Um, but what hostels are horrible for, and, and I, don't, I don't begrudge them this at all, is they're horrible when it comes to uh, taking care of your gear. Taking care of your gear is obviously very important. So on a rainy day, you know, maybe a hostel might have clotheslines, but you can't exactly put your stuff out on the clothesline. So on a rainy day, uh, you know, when all your gear is wet, and last night my gear got wet, uh, staying in a hotel has some advantages that staying in a hostel does not. Uh, the first and biggest one being that you can take all of your gear and you can kind of spread it all out, pull it all out, pull out your wet tent, and let everything kind of dry out. This is huge. And of course, taking care of your equipment is huge. Um, the downside is that you're on your own as far as getting around. Uh, a lot of hotels don't have laundry, so that's huge as well. Um, and you don't have the loaner clothes. Uh, so you either have to do like some hikers do, which is some hikers carry uh, town clothes. Like in my case, um, I carry some running shorts, which I lovingly refer to as ranger panties. <laughs> Not very flattering with my chicken legs. Uh, and I have a wool shirt. The uh, the nice thing about the wool shirt is that it actually smells halfway decent because wool doesn't retain the stink that uh, that this quick dry stuff does. Uh, much, I'm sure, to the pleasure of everybody around me. Um, or some hikers wear their rain gear when they're doing their laundry in town or they just wrap a towel around themselves, which I think is a little tacky, but hey, you gotta get the you gotta get it done right. So, um, so there are advantages and disadvantages to staying in a hotel, and the price the price you know at 50, 60 bucks for most of these little sleepy Appalachian towns, that's kind of the going rate. Uh, so you're paying more unless you split the room. Now all of a sudden, it's a little less than staying in hostel. So. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a different way of skinning the cat. Some people prefer hostels. Some people prefer hotels. 
for myself, I prefer a hotel on days like this where it's rainy and wet and my gear is wet and I need to dry it out and it's going to continue to be wet and, I, and I'm unable to get that gear dry if I went to a hostel because in a hostel, you just can't pull that stuff out and it's wet outside so you can't go hang it up on the clothesline. And I, I truly believe that taking care of your equipment is a huge priority. And if it's not, then at some point in time, you're going to be hurting out here on the trail. So, uh, and then the other huge priority when you have a town day are the four R's. Rest, relaxation, um, resupply, and refit. You know, getting all the equipment and getting everything you need to go. Uh, excited about Daleville. Uh, staying at the Howard Johnson, which is right next to a Kroger's, and across the street is a mar is a uh, is a margarita is a uh, you can see where my mind's going is a Mexican jet restaurant. Hey, margarita! So I'm excited. It's supposed to storm today. It's supposed to storm tomorrow. It's supposed to storm today around three o'clock. It's 9:20. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, beat that storm and get into town before that kicks off. Um, tomorrow, you know, we're just going to have to make a call in the morning. Uh, the weather has been really weird. So I think it's better to wait until tomorrow morning and, uh, and get the most up-to-date information and then... Uh, and then make that call. But uh, the next couple days are gonna be exciting. Uh, another huge, iconic spot on the Appalachian Trail is coming up. I'm not gonna tell you, it's a surprise. You'll have to turn, tune in, tune in tomorrow to find out what that's, a, what, the, what that is. Um, but, uh, but it's all kind of dependent on this whole weather report, so. We'll see how that goes. Exciting times. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's gonna be a new video released every week. So please subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll know when new videos are released and I'll know that you're enjoying the videos. Thank you for watching.